Good morning. It is Thursday, May 20th, day before chemo day. Um, so I have just dropped my boys at school and I am on my way to get my blood test done. That's about it. Uh, so this week has been a good week, a good week. After the crappy week I had last week, uh, my week has stayed good. I have felt normal um, all week. My lips are slowly getting better as you can see. Uh, my mouth is, is dry but not as dry, but it is my gums are very, very sore. I actually um, picked up a special toothbrush yesterday which is specific for tender gums. Yes, they saw gums, really saw gums, to the point that brushing my teeth was like, uh, uh, oh, it's extremely painful. Um, so this toothbrush is amazing, it was like, oh, to actually finally brush my teeth and oh, it was just heaven. Um, so that's really been my only issue actually, is dry mouth. Um, I haven't had a headache for the last two days. Other than that, I've had headaches every single day. Not all day, but on and off pretty much most of the day, except for the last two days, so that's good. Um, so yeah, um, I am nervous again, because they told me that second time round should be a little bit easier and I actually found it a little bit harder. Uh, so I'm a little bit nervous again. <coughs> Um, as you can see, I still have this cough hanging over it. <coughs> I didn't know you were going to do a U-turn. <coughs> um, but yeah, that's it really. Nothing to update. Let's go get my bloods. See you soon. I've had a very lazy week, so I thought I'd show that I'm actually out of the house. Gone shopping. Not that I have money, but I've gone to buy a car mount as suggested. Oh, we just want to go anyway. But look at me out and about making an effort oh, and I just happened to accidentally stumble along pot plants I've got all these ones but I don't think I stand out at shopping at all no one notices me hello I'm very excited um, my friend Belinda has very kindly um, sent me wigs that she used uh, five years ago when she was fighting breast cancer um, she, they've been sitting in her cupboard and so she wore these these are proper wigs actual oh not um costume wigs so I'm hoping I can um oh actually wear these we've got two uh -huh. um, so this is the one I imagine I will wear regularly wow I really like that actually, just looking at that. You've got that one? Oh! And then we have a bog one that she had. This is a darker one. Oh, and just a bob. So let's try them on. I'll wear one to chemo tomorrow. I've got my sister coming with me tomorrow, my oldest sister. I'm setting up, I've been asking people in advance. Um, so I've got my other sister coming in a few weeks with me. Uh, I have a lady from work coming uh, for my last week of chemo, friend. And I don't know if Shane's gonna come with me for the first round of Taxol being a different chemo. Okay, so I found just these wig caps when I was cleaning my room yesterday, actually. So, oh, we're runny nose still. So over this runny nose. Ready? Oh, it's cold taking that off. So what are we, I don't know what day we're at. It's May 20th. And that's where my head's at. I don't even know where it's at. But I will, um, watch, oh, I saw a patch there as I came back. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I can see a little patch still in here. <laughs> I don't know if I saw any. <laughs> okay. This looks like a foot of a stocking. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that. No, that's really uncomfortable. Oh. 
That's really tight. Anyway, which one will we try on first? Alright, we'll go the blonde more me look. I'm so excited about this. Oh. <laughs> I should be looking that way. Okay, that does not look right. Yeah, that definitely. <laughs> Why is that look right? In her photos, it looked beautiful. Let's get rid of this because sorry, that cut out. I don't know where it cut out, but anyway. But while I was gone, I was thinking, because I cannot get this front piece to sit right. Do you reckon I could do, I could cut a fringe into it? You gotta remember if I cut a fringe in, I can't, like I could cut a fringe in. Like surely that looks all right there. But that will sit over. Because that looks fine that yeah like that it looks like normal hair but yeah I think if I cut that fringe because she doesn't want the wigs back and she said I can do with them as I please but I think that would be wearable if I cut a fringe in like that that's my type of fringe I think she would wear it like that and pin it. I did have a pin. But that's not me. But I think with the fringe, absolutely 100%, that is me. That's, so that's my plan. I'm going to cut a fringe. I'm a bit scared. Sorry, Belinda. I hope that's okay. And I think if I start really down here, because you can't stuff it up. <clears throat> All right. So that's the first one. So I will. I am actually happy with that. Oh, it looks bunny bald. It's really cold. But yes, I think I will cut a fringe into that and I think I will actually wear that a lot. Okay, so this one is a different look for me. Because it's really dark. And it's short. I think she does have a fringe in there. I if that can I don't think it can come forward. Cause again, I think actually if that fringe was there. I'm back! What do you think? <clears throat> I cut the fringe in. Um I think I'll get my sister to tidy it up. It's a little bit long because it's annoying me. But surely I can get away with that. Look, surely. Look, it's not uncomfortable. The cap's maybe a little bit tight, but... Yes. <clears throat> so then we'll put it on. I'm getting new glasses tomorrow, actually. I'm going to get my eyes tested. Now, I don't have any like this. I like these because they um, are different. <coughs> yeah. And then with my sunnies. Surely. I think so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. It is Friday, May the 21st, and it is chemo round three day. Uh, what do you think? What do you think of my new hair? <laughs> I don't know if I like it. It looks like a wig to me. Does it? Does it? I don't know if I'm going to wear it yet. Anyway, <clears throat> chemo round three. three, three. Um, how do I feel about this? Not excited. Not looking forward to 
the next week scared that <clears throat> it's going to be worse this time it was a little bit yuckier last time so just scared it's going to be worse this time you know with the accumulation especially with my mouth dryness and skins getting dry um those type of things that's about it I definitely don't like the idea of getting it <clears throat> but I'm just looking at it as what, three or four we're over halfway through this lot and it's more poison in my system to kill the cancer I guess so, yeah, so I got my sister coming along today my oldest sister she'll be here soon so I don't know if I'll wear the wig or not you'll have to let me know can I get away with this as an everyday look if I wanted to or I honestly feel more self-conscious in this than <laughs> that. I feel more comfortable. Look, I just got that. No one knows. No? No? I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I'm wearing a wig. Oh, do I look like I'm wearing a wig? Well, not now. I'm bald. Actually, I'll, I'll um, put in a little clip that I did for TikTok. <laughs> I thought it was funny because there's this filter going around saying, seeing what you look like bald, which I did try actually. Um, oh, yes, and I did it with the wig. <clears throat> so, yeah. I don't know, am I supposed to, is this supposed to go over somewhere? I don't know. Okay, I'll see you... Um, Probably on the climb up the hill, maybe. Maybe on the drive. Don't know. Wherever I get the urge to speak to you again. Alrighty, so our walk, or our walk up the hill hasn't started. We're not actually going to walk up the hill. This is my sister Marie. She's with me today. We're parked in a different spot. It's all very pretty, actually. I must it's got say, all the old Queenslanders. Yes, it is a very, very pretty suburb actually around the hospital. And all as those beautiful um, old Queenslanders. <clears throat> and as you can see, I decided not to wear the wig. <laughs> a bit weird that I feel more comfortable in this than I do in a wig. Hmm. But I will wear it out, just not today. All right, and I'm not going to go up the hill today. Actually, we're going to walk up and around and go that way. Heart attack hill. Yeah, I'm not doing it today. Okay. All right. See when we get up the top. Another week of chemo. Another game of cards. Mm. She nearly saw what I had then. Ooh, we'll watch her. <laughs> Been into the doctor. My white cells are high, so they're seeing if I have a UTI. I told him if I have a UTI, you'll know about it. Because I know about it. That's it. Got in trouble for not drinking enough water. Not in trouble, but <clears throat> I was told to drink more water. I have to say, I've only got one left. Yeah. Well, I've got to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> These are the worst ones. They really take it out of you sometimes. Yeah, that first week's pretty bad. I've survived it. Is We're it actually um, in and out. What, within two hours this yep. time? Considering last time we waited three hours. That's it. Yep. That means I get to buy lunch. <laughs> Mackers? No. Alright, chemo's done. I'm home. Tom's home from work 
It's from school sick. He looks so sick, doesn't he? It's just sick. And sneakily, sneakily. Getting some lunch. The babies, sorry the tank is so dirty. The babies have taken over the corner. Not so much looking like babies now, are they? They're like full on. Betty's there, but she's actually been hiding all day in those things that she's at. Look at the size of the babies. I've got to get them out of there. I've got to sell them. They're going to feed. He's a curious one, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, look, Jack likes to, Lacey likes to do one. Follow me. What can I think? Lacey? Oh, there she is, she's hiding. There's Betty. And this is Milo watching the fish with me. Which ones are you watching, Milo? Oh! <sighs> Bob, leave Betty alone. She clearly wants time away from you. Just thought I'd do a quick update before I go to bed, night one, chemo three. Um, sorry, I keep changing my hats. Um, so it's now eight o'clock and I've just started feeling just the chemo ick, just changing mood. Um, I had a headache earlier, I took Panadol for that straight away. Um, so yeah, just taking some Valium because I've taken that the last two chemos and it puts me to sleep and stops my mind. So that is what I've done and off to bed I go. Chemo round three, day one done. Hello. It is Saturday morning. Oh, I'm going to cut across here. Um, day two of chemo three. I am out, as you can see, at soccer. Um, first night was good. Um, I could feel the poison was in my body, but it was, um, it was okay. I took my chemo night Valium and slept. Pretty shit, actually. Um, but been fine this morning, feel normal this morning so far, knock wood. As you can see, I've got my wig on. Hey! I think it looks alright with the hat. Um, I went out this morning just when I was doing the drop-offs and it kept moving around. I didn't have the undercap on, so that's definitely made a difference. It looks better with the undercap on too, so yeah. I feel like I'm condemned in today and um, no one's going to look twice at me. And Boo Boo came out too. And Sam's coming in behind me because he's running late. Alright, just got Joe playing this week. Baxter. Decided to go home halfway at half time with Sam's game because I had a headache from the wig. And you can see the mark the cap made. Hence fall, why I'm just going to drive home bald. Hello, it is Saturday, May 22nd, 1 o'clock. So it is time for my injection. This is 24 hours post chemo. Um, this is to boost my neutrophils. Litty Philogastra. This one goes in my tummy. This is my second one doing it to myself. I have washed my hands. I don't have a um, swab, but to be honest, I wouldn't swab someone before doing this. But anyway, generally swabbing. Oh, needle warning. Swabbing's only if it can visibly see there's dirt. Very tiny, tiny. 
tiny, tiny needle. Can you even see it? That's what I want to do with mine, you. That's the easy part. What can you see? Oh, just... It does sting going in. So my headache has definitely gone away since taking off the um, wig. So I'm going to go to um, that wig shop that I went to with my daughter um, and get their bamboo wig cap because it didn't, it's not tight. Let's see if that fixes, oh excuse me, fixes it. Ow! And done. So yep, so that boosts my neutrophils because the cancer decreases my neutrophils so hopefully it boosts them enough to keep me well. Um, which I am still well, still feeling well. I think I look well today. I've been out, I've been about. I am tired, but I've slept poor the last two nights, so uh, that'll explain that. All right, see you on the next catch up. Good morning, it's my birthday, 46 today. Look at my best, that you can do. <clears throat> so we are, um, so it's May 25th. What are we? Four days out of chemo and honestly I have to say that I've had a really good couple of days. I've had um, no issues at all. My mouth um, has started to become dry again. It actually got really good. My lip completely healed. But you can already see it break down again already. Um, but other than that, I've been pretty good. Um, quite last night and still this morning tender in here. I don't know why and all in my scarring I'm all um, both sides I'm quite swollen and tender and sore I don't know why um, could be just a coincidence I don't know what's going on there there's no redness or anything like that um, my headaches are back they went away towards the end of last week but of course with chemo back they're back uh, my cough is still here if anything it's probably getting a little bit worse I don't know about worse but it's definitely not getting better um, so we're just keeping an eye on the cough at the moment um, but other than that I actually feel really really well I'm now yeah as I said day four I've not had any bad days I've been very 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 lucky this time around so far I didn't end up going and getting my eyes tested I was thinking about going today but I don't know but I did want to show you my flowers that my husband got me because these are just beautiful. Look at these. Look at that. Is that not the most spectacular bunch of flowers you've ever seen? They're pretty beautiful. And they smell too. And then I've got little, little balloons. Aren't they beautiful? And of course I've got chocolate from my oldest son. I'm sorry that this update um, has been quite crappy actually it's been all over the place just a bit of this and a bit of that and there's really nothing to update um, I guess that's a good thing so people going through chemo know that um, by the third time round it's going okay so far um, I was pretty yucky these days last fortnight <clears throat> so we'll see but so far I feel good yeah, I just I've got nothing for you. I'm sorry. Really boring. And I know you've been waiting for an update. My plans? I got no plans. I got no life. I've got no motivation. I've got no get up and go. I just get up every day and just potter about until the day is over, and then I start again. And it's pretty boring and it's pretty lonely. I should be doing my uni, but I'm just not motivated. I should be doing a lot of things. Don't know. I can't even be bothered doing my plants. I can't be bothered doing anything really. Our um, fish tank got a link, unfortunately, so we've had to empty that and start again. 
but yeah so I don't know when my next update will be because nothing's happening really I'll just keep recording my life and adding it in but it's just nothing it's just yeah, it's pretty boring all right sorry sorry this updates probably wasted half an hour of your day but it's done and I'm not sure when the next one will be up but we'll get there but before we do get there I do want to say thank you for watching thank you for following thank you for subscribing if you've subscribed liked and commented um, I do appreciate it I really 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 do and um, thank you for your time <laughs>